Hello and welcome to our Abbey Youth Thought. I want, us in, I want to encourage us today to dream big. It was, the, it was August the 28th, 1963, when Martin Luther King said, I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the colour of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream. What, a ma what an amazing statement. What an amazing dream to have. And it's a dream that we need to continue to work for, to fight for, to stand for. And this week, I want to encourage each one of us to dream big. In uh, Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18, it says, Without a vision, the people perish. Without a dream, people perish perish. Without a dream, people aren't able to flourish and to blossom and to become all that God has called them to be. That we need to dream. We need dreams for the future. And I think we need them now, probably more than ever in our, certainly in my lifetime. That actually we're at a time where so many things have been shaken and turned upside down. And that we need to have a dream for the future. And there's some wonderful verses in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 that say this. They, it says that God is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. Those words ask or imagine. They give us permission to imagine the future. They give us permission to dream big dreams. And so I'd encourage you to think about your life, to think about the person that you want to be and become, the way you want to use your gifts and your interests and your talents and your skills, to dream about how you want to use those to make a difference in our world and with the people that God has put around you. And it talks also about not only imagine, but ask, asking God. So bring those dreams to God. Talk to him about them. Bring what is on your heart to him in prayer. And so this week, dream big, get a diary, get a journal and write out your dreams, your hopes for the future about how you want to um, use what God has given you, the gifts, the skills, the talents, how you want to, um, you know, the type of person that you want to be and to trust that God is able to do more than we ask or imagine. It doesn't mean that it's going to be easy. It doesn't mean that everything we write down is going to happen, but we can trust that God hears those um, dreams and hopes for the future. He hears them and he wants to mould them and shape them and he wants to mould and shape us as well. And it might be that in uh, a couple of weeks time you, 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 you look back and you think actually I want to write something slightly different. That's great. It may be that in 20 years time you look back and you're able to say actually that was the beginning of when I was discovering something of the purpose that God had for my life. So this week dream big. I'm going to pray and then we can finish. Father, thank you that you're with us in this time of uncertainty. I pray that you would help us to dream big, to remember that you've made us, that you love us, that you've got a plan for us. Help us to dream big, to imagine the future and to ask you and to talk to you about it this week. Amen. God bless, stay safe and dream big.